Unicron, no! You tried to trick me, Galvatron. The Matrix is nothing in your hands. And you are nothing. Nothing at all. Hey guys, this is Sigmel74 here. Um, glad that I was chosen to be uh, Power Glide in uh, TF3. I'm going to have a good time with that. Thanks, Night Slash. This is, uh, it's Inanna. Power Glide here. In any case, uh, also I want to congratulate everybody else who uh, made it. Uh, Onslaught, Slagos Legos, um, uh, Dreadwing, uh, Clicker Transformer, Sunstreaker's uh, Plazabot, Tankor, uh, NASCAR Transformer, uh, Metroplex is Ryan uh, Ubenke. Um, Hotshot is Henshin Rider. Jaller, Review 64. Uh, Lua is the one it is. And Antros is Shawshank Dude 2005. Well, congrats to all you guys. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on a guy I just picked up today. Universe 2.0. Galvatron. And I uh, just want to point out some imperfections that mine has. Um, you know when they make these toys, they come on those things that you, they got to break off. And uh, they didn't do a good job of cleaning that. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's a whole bunch of points on this figure. Um, if, you, if you can see right under the 2.5 and the Galv 2.5, there's one... Uh, there's one on the top here uh, on both sides uh, one on top of here uh, on top of that um, they're not so they don't show so good but the one on the side of uh, Galvatron does it shows up really nice when I first got this guy I was very disappointed um, But the more I've fooled around with them, you know, the more I'm starting to like them. Uh, the tank mold is, is just a plain tank. Uh, with size comparison, it's real small for a tank. He's just a hair bigger than animated jazz. So, um, but uh, he's Galvatron, and he's the only real Galvatron I have. So, as far as articulation in the tank, the turret can move with a little finagling. I can go up a little, but not a lot. Um, he's not as hard to transform as a lot of people have uh, led you to believe. Um, I do uh, think that on uh, a lot of the uh, other reviewers who've had problems with the uh, the left arm popping off, it must be a quality control issue because mine hasn't popped off yet. Um, but not saying it won't probably will during the review. But I'm having problems with my right arm staying on. So, in any case, I'm gonna pop that off because. Uh, she likes the fire when you transform it. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the front panel and the back panel up, and you, then you're going to separate uh, these two halves of uh, that his uh, gun is located on. S split them in half here, so you can get the gun out. If you can see right in there, then you put them right back together, and there's his gun and his arm. You fold that down here and you can twist it here and that'll pull his hand out and then you turn it around this way because that's going to be the right way okay then you pull these bad boys out and these bad boys out and you pull the legs out here and the shoulder thingies or backpack thingy okay then you just uh, once you get that separated and these fall off really bad and again, there's another one of those little white pieces from where they broke it off. So there's some huge quality control issues on this figure, of mine at least. You split the legs, let them do the splits a little bit. Alright, turn the waist so his crotchular area is facing you. Fold them down like this. These are the knees, so they will stay in front. Those are the feet, so they should be in front also. Then you slide this part forward and click that down. 
and turn the feet around. Do the same for the other side. As my leg falls off. Watch, everything's going to fall off this guy, except the uh, left arm. Or maybe it'll be a first time for that, too. Who knows? Okay. Now, you got to move this arm back to here. Get that back as that pops off yet again. I'm going to slide that into place there. Now, if you're really careful with this arm, see, mine does not pop off. You pop off his hand. It, this was like that, so now you're going to flip that like that. And the back here. There are two pegs and two holes. And you're just going to do that and that. The two feet things for that alternate mode that I'm not going to show you because I think it looks cheesy are up there, but I'm not going to bother with it and keep them there because I like them down. And last but not least, you're going to pop out old mighty Galvatron's head. And there you have Galvatron in his robot mode. Pretty good homage to to G1 Galvatron, except for the fact that I didn't turn that yet. Okay, um, he's cool. There's this little hook thing that nobody knows really why it's there. Instructions say to keep it up, but who cares? But uh, He's a little dinky thing. He does look better on cam than he does um, in real life. But uh, he really doesn't look all that bad. From the chest up, he looks great. From the waist down, he looks okay. He's standing, he's back heavy. But he stands. Um, when you have this arm all the way in socket, there's limited mobility. But if you can pull, you can pull it out a little bit. I don't want to do it now because I'll end up pulling this arm off because it always falls off on me. But uh, you know, it, it'll go all the way when you do that because it'll come out past the back things. But uh, this is Galv, the Almighty Galvatron, and. Uh, this is Sick Metal 74. I'll catch you later with more reviews.